You've probably heard of HIV before, but do you know how it affects humans in the body? HIV, or human immunodeficiency virus, is a virus that primarily infects cells called CD4 T cells, which are a type of white blood cell that play a major role in immunity, or the body's ability to fight off infection. When HIV attacks these cells, the cells are destroyed and the body's immunity decreases. This decrease in immunity leads to AIDS, or Acquired Immunodeficiency Syndrome. Let's start off by examining an analogy to understand how HIV attacks the body. Imagine the following situation. A criminal is thinking of breaking into the National Mint. The Mint is an organization that is responsible for producing the money we use on a daily basis. Although the Mint has an advanced security system, the criminal has a proper ID and is able to gain entry into the Mint, where he then manages to hack into the system. The criminal adds templates of counterfeit money to the printing system, and using the Mint's own printing machinery, the criminal is able to produce counterfeit money. At the same time, the original Mint has to shut down because the public now knows that it is producing counterfeit money. Over time, a large amount of counterfeit money is produced, and the criminal can repeat the process now by attacking more and more organizations. HIV works in a manner similar to the criminals. It attacks human cells and uses cell machinery to produce copies of itself. Let's look at this in more detail with a scientific explanation. To do this, we need to talk about the structure of HIV first. The genetic material of the HIV virus is single-stranded RNA. This is different from human genetic material, which is double-stranded DNA. HIV viruses also contain proteins and enzymes, which help it attack human cells. The RNA and enzymes are enclosed by the viral capsid. And lastly, the outside of an HIV virus is an envelope coated with proteins, which help it to recognize and enter human cells. Now let's take a look at the life cycle of the HIV virus. The life cycle of the HIV virus is split into seven steps. Firstly, during attachment, the HIV virus attaches itself to receptors on the host cell surface. Much like the criminals learn to access the mint, HIV has learned to access human cells. Secondly, we have fusion. During fusion, the envelope surrounding the HIV virus fuses with the cell surface of the host cell, and then the contents of the virus are able to invade the immune cell. Next, we have reverse transcription. In reverse transcription, the HIV virus RNA is converted into DNA formed by proteins. Remember that the HIV RNA is single-stranded, which is not compatible with the host cell's double-stranded DNA in the nucleus. After the HIV RNA is converted into double-stranded DNA form, only then can it enter the whole cell's nucleus. This step is much like the criminal hacking into the mint system. In the fourth step, integration, the HIV DNA enters the cell's nucleus and is joined to the whole cell's DNA. Next, we have transcription and translation. During this step, the HIV virus uses the whole cell's machinery to make HIV viral proteins and structures. This is where the HIV virus replicates its parts before assembling into an army to be released from the host cell. This is similar to the criminal making his counterfeit money. The sixth step, assembly, occurs when HIV RNA and proteins are packaged into the viral capsule, effectively creating more HIV viruses. And finally, we have budding. Budding is when the HIV buds out of the cell and it is now able to infect other immune cells. So now you know how HIV affects human cells and you're probably wondering why any of this matters. Well, to be able to stop HIV and find effective treatments, it's important for scientists to know how the virus works. Now that you've learned more, perhaps you'll join these efforts to find a new treatment? Please join us next time to learn more about treatment options for HIV.